All right, guys, we are going to go over our mouse traits gizmo. Um, you should have your gizmo document pulled up here, um, as you can see on the left side of the screen. And then you should have gone to the Explore Learning Gizmo link. Um, and if you logged in by clicking on the little person here and you do your login, um, you should see the mouse genetics gizmo. Um, if you don't see that, then you need to make sure you have your account set up and do that by following one of the videos in the folder. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can email me. Otherwise, you should have these two tabs open and ready to go. And you're going to click Launch Gizmo for the mouse genetics. And you will see a setup like this. So what we're going to do, um, we are going to be looking at um, how traits are passed from parent to offspring and how um, those change and can be um, like dominant so we can see them or they can be recessive and it's hidden. Um, so it's very similar to what we did with the alien genetics activity. Um, and this is just kind of going through it as a simulation. So our prior knowledge questions here, um, you're looking at the picture on your document and you're seeing how those kittens are all similar, um, then how do they differ, and then what do you think their parents look like based on their characteristics, their features, the different colors, what do you think their parents might look like? Then going to our gizmo warm-up, this is where you're going to start using the simulation here. So heredity is the passage of genetic information from parents to offspring. The rule of inheritance, the rules of inheritance were discovered in the 19th century by Gregor Mendel. So in this gizmo, gizmo you'll study how one trait is inherited. Okay, so in um, this gizmo, we're looking at the fur color of the mice. So as it goes through the directions, you're going to drag two black mice into the parent one and parent two boxes. Um, and then click breed. So how this will look, you'll click on the black mouse here and just click it over the parent one and then parent two. And then that button, you have to click it each time you want to breed it, okay? Um, and then it just shows you. And then if you click clear, it'll erase it and you can do the same for the white mice. Um, and again, click through breed, answer your questions and go through that. Then when you get to the first activity, um, you want to make sure that everything is cleared out. And then what it says, you drag a black mouse and a white mouse to your parent boxes. Then you need to answer some questions. And as you click through that again, um, what you take the offspring and drag them into the holding tanks, and this allows you to use those mice for later experiments once you clear the top tab here. Okay, so then you can bring those back, um, and as you start working through, you're going to see some changes. Okay, um, as you go through this activity, just make sure you're answering the questions. Then when you get to Activity B, you're again going to drag the black and the white mouse, um, but this time you are going to click on the show genotype button here at the top right corner. And then when you hold your um, cursor over a mouse, it shows you what the genotype looks like, so what those allele letters are. Okay, then as you breed, and you hold that over, you can see that it changes. Okay, so you're going to do that for activity B. Um, it's going to have you put some offspring in the holding cages again, so make sure you read through those directions. Then activity C, we're again putting a black and a white mouse in um, the parent boxes. And now we're going to be working on filling out. Um, a Punnett square. So this again, you want to make sure that show genotype is still shown and you're going to work through um, filling out that Punnett square and making some predictions. Um, I do have the Punnett squares filled out for question three here for you just with the initial um, parent offsprings. 
and then you can determine what the our parent alleles and then you can determine what the offspring look like okay activity c continues through um the last page and once you get to question four, you're also going to click on the show statistics button and it's going to show you the number and how um, that probability or those percentages start to even out and work out. And then you have a few questions left. So the directions are pretty straightforward. Um, just make sure that you are completing each step and you're answering all questions. Once you are finished with this gizmo, you are going to go back to Schoology and submit it. Um, you do have a couple days to get this done, so please just be mindful of the due date and how you are working on assignment. If you have any questions, please email me. Otherwise, you should be good to go to get started.